The Man Who Turned Into a Stick is a concise one-act play penned by Japanese writer and innovator Kobo Abe in 1957. It inaugurates a trilogy crafted by Abe to symbolize the concepts of conception, life, and death. While this play embodies the theme of death, its sequels, The Suitcase and The Cliff of Time, are believed to represent conception and life, respectively. This trio of plays, particularly notable in Abe's body of work, ushered magical realism into the realm of Japanese literature. The entire narrative unfolds on a bustling street adjacent to a department store, during the midst of summer. Initially, two characters, Hippie Boy and Hippie Girl, linger outside the store, engaged in inhaling glue. Their aimless occupation is disrupted when a stick descends from the sky. This stick is portrayed by an actor who also embodies the character transformed into the stick. The scene is joined by the introduction of man from hell and woman from hell. Hippie boy reflects on his near miss with the falling stick. Man from hell and woman from hell attribute his fortune to destiny, while hippie girl lends a more impartial, Buddhist interpretation to the occurrence. Hippie boy takes the stick and begins to drum a rhythm. Hippie girl subsequently notices a young boy on the rooftop and presumes that he hurled the stick at them. The stick speaks to the child, revealing itself as his father. Man from hell and woman from hell interrogate hippie boy and hippie girl about the stick's origin and nature, skeptical of their seemingly innocent discovery. The hippies inquire whether the individuals from hell are law enforcement officers. Their response denies this, yet they request the stick to be surrendered. Suspicious of the man and woman's claims, Hippie Boy accuses them of casting the stick and concealing the truth. Man and woman uphold their assertion that the stick is a person who transformed before plummeting from the rooftop, urging the young duo to empathize with their perspective. Hippie Boy and Hippie Girl express their limited understanding due to the age gap between them and the man and woman. Hippie Girl describes this as a form of alienation. The man who turned into a stick regrets this situation. The man and woman from hell engage in a debate with the hippies about life's meaning. The man from hell questions Hippie Boy's intentions with the stick, to which Hippie Boy dismisses the question, seeing it as a relic of the past. The man from hell uses this argument to suggest Hippie Boy should give him the stick. Hippie Boy remains steadfast, frustrating the man from hell, who claims pursuing something with the knowledge of its emptiness is detrimental. The hippies decline money for the stick and veer into various tangents. Later, the woman from hell announces the imminent arrival of a boy who has sought help for his father's predicament, but in vain. The stick speaks again, pondering its fate. Startled, hippie boy drops the stick, noting its uncanny resemblance to himself. Eventually, he agrees to sell the stick to the man from hell for five dollars, explaining he did so due to his reluctance, creating a contradiction of circumstances. Hippie girl chimes in, referring to this as the generation gap. With the stick in their possession, the man and woman from hell discuss their plans to investigate its previous human form. They communicate with hell to provide an update. The woman from hell expresses sympathy for the stick, drawing a reprimand from the man. They delve into another discussion about the stick's nature, with the man dubbing it the root and source of all tools, endowing it with faithfulness and capability. The woman observes the rarity of seeing a man in the form of a stick. In response, the man explains that such occurrences are overlooked due to their commonness among people in their line of work. The man from hell advises the woman from hell to discard the stick, but she hesitates, pondering whether the stick might still possess emotions. She proposes giving the stick to the boy so he can mourn properly. The man argues that the boy and his father are content as they are, implying that the transformation was a deliberate choice. The two individuals from hell exit the stage, seeking another person who has undergone a similar transformation. Subsequently, the stick delivers a monologue, challenging the assertions that he was content. The man from hell breaks the fourth wall, acknowledging the audience's presence as also being sticks. The woman from hell attempts to console the stick, emphasizing that he isn't alone in his predicament. Nevertheless, the play concludes without resolving the stick situation, as the man and woman depart, destined to mechanically repeat their roles. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.